Hello viewers, welcome to my channel and topic is pleural effusion and in the previous video I explained the signs and symptoms, causes and uh, introduction, you know. Uh, but uh, today's video is about the risk factors, you know. As you know, the pleural effusion is the collection of the fluid uh, in the pleural space, you know, and uh, which can cause uh, difficulty in breathing or pain while breathing or coughing, etc., you know. And uh, the main causes are like uh, maybe the trauma or maybe infection or uh, maybe pulmonary embolism, you know. But today's topic is what are the risk factors, you know. But the pleural fields are caused by uh, any underlying medical condition, um, which I told in the previous video, you know. And uh, uh, there, for the presence of any uh, medical problems are the risk factors for the development of the pleural effusion. And uh, uh, they may include like, uh, uh, as I said earlier, maybe the trauma, maybe the cirrhosis, maybe the uh, pulmonary embolism, maybe any cancer, you know, or infection, or kidney failure, or heart failure, you know. So these are the risk factors. Now, uh, it's important to uh, know that uh, all individuals with these medical problems will develop the pleural effusion. So not everyone will develop if someone is having these problems like heart failure or kidney problems. So everyone will not develop the pleural effusion, you know. And uh, in case of the heart failure, uh, it, this is the most common cause of the uh, transgenerative uh, pleural effusion. And while the infection and the malignancy, which means the cancer, are the most common causes of uh, exudative pleural effusion, you know. Thank you very much for watching this video. If you need more information about any disease and any medical condition, you can visit our website www.diseasesandtreatment.com and please do not forget to subscribe to this channel for more informative videos every day. Goodbye.